Open culture is, I think, culture that's accessible uh, for everybody. Open culture is the sea of possibilities, but you really need to know what you are looking for in that ocean. Open culture, uh, for me, is the future of learning and uh, equality in, in learning. With open culture, I, I understand culture that's, that's not imposed from above, but it's also a process of democratization. It's the culture of the people. For me, it has a legal connotation, so open culture is culture that you can use and you can reuse and you can share. Uh, we have uh, storage spaces uh, full of objects that people never knew about. We want to get great quality out there. We want to make our collections that we are so devoted to in our museum, on any museum, available to anybody who wants or needs them. This is really a chance uh, to make it accessible. We're completely 100% sure of the benefit to society of, 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 of such projects and such approach. I think you need to start also young by exposing students to culture so that later on they will pay that back in a way. They will go to museum if they are familiar with museums. Open educational resources uh, are a key factor in this sense. They provide the vast material to make this change happen and to enrich teaching. The objects themselves, they don't uh, tell you much. You need context, you need help to open it up, to, to make uh, connections to tell stories. It's not that easy to work with digital materials. I mean, digital objects are having different possibilities. So you really need to provide new kind of skills. I think that uh, policy makers, policies and public institutions uh, have to give the way to give an access uh, of the materials, the, the resources, the cultural resources for all and especially for pupils. Internet is full of low quality materials uh, with uh, mistakes. That's why well curated websites uh, with educational materials are very important. We really need to discuss copyright. It's complicated even for lawyers. You need to make an effort for educators to understand what they can do and what they can't do. Because without knowledge about copyright, you cannot use digital objects in an interesting, creative way without consequences. We are continuously competing and bombarded by the pressures of sustainability, financial sustainability. Best case scenario, all the curators and all the museums, and all the libraries all across Europe, or all over the world, have dedicated themselves to uh, 20 hours a week just to digitize their collection. And once they're online with good metadata and linked open data with um, highly um, organized metadata in terms of uh, connecting to other collections, their collections can go out in the big world wide web and be available to everybody.